What we're going to take a look at. Oh, thank you, sir. The next thing that we're going to take a look at is the repair center scrubber. It's a very useful tool inside a repair center that helps us manage our jobs along the course of the repair. The purpose of the scrubber is to move specific estimated lines entries to a different profit center inside a repair center. Within Mitchell Repair Center, we actually have two different scrubbers. The first one is the part scrubber, and the second one is actually a labor scrubber. By having this automated action performed, Repair Center will allocate the estimate lines to the profit center desired. All these ones come from your estimatic system. In order for the scrubber to work effectively, we must bring them in from the estimatic system and they must be written exactly the same way as we have set up in our part scrubber. That is a key point to having the scrubber work effectively. If it is spelt differently in any way, whether it's uppercase or lowercase, from our estimatic system, the scrubber will not pick it up. It must be exactly the same way each and every time. With that being said, we want to go through and make sure that all the information is used on a consistent basis. Again, a couple more key points. Maintenance on the part scrubber and labor scrubber is needed on a consistent basis. As I stated before, and I cannot stress this enough, the scrubber is also based on description. Another point to remember is that there cannot be a duplication of items in either scrubber. If there is, you must go in and remove one of the items. With that being said of removal, we can also add any new items at any time to the scrubber. Through the demonstration, I will show you both ways of how to add new items into your part scrubber. So for scrubber maintenance, the first thing that we want to do is go up and select the more option in the top right corner. Once that's done, we're going to click on configuration and then we're going to select the parts tab. Once we select the parts tab and we select the scrubber sub tab, there are going to be four options for us. Add a new line or add a new item to the scrubber, delete an item from the scrubber, and then we have two other items, import and export. These are not going to be widely used by you at this time. They are based off of what we use as CSV files to bring items in to the scrubber or export out a listing of items from the scrubber. By adding a new line, what will appear and what you're going to need to enter is an exact description of what the scrubber item is you wish to have moved. You're going to select the profit center of where you wish to have this item moved. You're going to select the status, whether it's going to be an inventory item or a maintained item in your status field. And what you're also going to select is the profit obtained percentage. By doing this, what will happen is that the next time that item is brought in from your estimatic system, the scrubber will read that line from the estimate and convert it to what you have set. Right now I'm going to move on to our part scrubber demonstration, and like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you two ways of adding an item to the part scrubber. The first option that we're going to use is come up to the More option, and we're going to go into Configuration as stated. We'll come up to our Parts tab. Then we're going to move into our Scrubber tab. At this point in time, what I'll do is click on the Add option, and we can see down at the bottom of my listing, I can add in the description. Again, this must be exact to what we have coming from our estimatic system.
The next one over for part type, I will double click on top of that box and I will select the profit center where I wish to have this going to. I'll then come over and select my status of what I want it to go to. I can either have it marked as inventory and or maintained. We suggest you pick either one, either inventory as an inventory item or as a maintained item. Once selected, I can then come over to my profit percentage and I can enter into there my desired profit to make on this item. Once completed, you will see inside of here, my listing, my new item. So that is how you go ahead and manually enter a item into your part scrubber. The second way of doing it is that you can come actually into your job And if there is an item that you wish to have manually scrubbed, you can come to it, select your part type, and adjust it the way you wish to have it. You can enter your cost and list. Adjust your status. and then you're going to click on Add to the Scrubber List. You will see the window pop up saying that you've effectively moved this item to your Scrubber List. So as long as it is written that way continually from now on, it will always move into your Scrubber List.